You already know who Marilyn Monroe is, but have you heard of her French counterpart? Martine Carroll was a French film actress and sex symbol who rose to fame in the 1960s. Despite her success, Carroll struggled with personal issues and faced criticism for her acting abilities, much like another famous cinematic sex symbol. Join Facts First to see some rare photos of Martine Carroll, the French Marilyn Monroe. Martine Carroll's Beginnings Coming from a humble background with her pharmacist father and housewife mother, it didn't seem like Martine Carroll would become a big star. But she couldn't have come at a better time as French cinema was going through a renaissance. She studied acting at a prestigious school in Paris and studied under René Simon, one of the most famous acting teachers of all time in France. She began her career on stage and acted in her first professional play in 1940. She had one uncredited role in a 1941 film and another the next year. She had a small role in a 1943 film, but her first major role was in the 1945 film By For Three. This film got her more attention and offers started coming in. Filmmakers took notice of the fact that she was a beautiful blonde, which was getting popular in cinema. It should be noted that at this time, Marilyn Monroe hadn't even made her debut in American cinema. She continued to get roles throughout the 1940s, and her role in a 1948 film, Sextet, is what made her get more notice. She was now taken seriously as an actress, as she was able to hold her own in this popular ensemble film. The 1950s was when French cinema was becoming popular all over the world, and the French New Wave was becoming prominent. Around this same time, Marilyn Monroe was becoming prominent in the U.S. and eventually the world. Martine Carroll was soon dubbed the French Marilyn Monroe. Martine had a prolific career, and she often had several films releasing each year. In fact, in the early years, she only went one year without making a film, before she'd made her breakthrough. Martine Carroll's Career A mention should be made of some of Martine's career achievements. While she didn't become a star until the 50s, she got lots of attention in the 40s. It wasn't long before she got noticed, and her rise in cinema was almost meteoric. Her films exploited her beauty, and especially her blonde hair. She became a pinup model as well as a popular actress during this time. Apart from Buy for Three and Sextet, her popular films in the 40s included The Queer Assignment, Voyage Surprise, I Only Like You, and The Lovers of Verona. Her popular films in the 50s included Beware of Blondes, Darling Caroline, Love and Desire, Adorable Creatures, The Beach, and many, many more. A separate mention should be made about the film Lola Mont, in which she played the titular role. It was directed by Max Ophuls, who was enamored of her and felt she had incredible talent. The 50s was the best decade for her career. It continued into the 60s, but it also slowed down, and her filmography wasn't particularly dense during this decade. She appeared in one segment in the 1960 film Love and the French Woman, and followed this up with three films released in 1961. Her final film was released after her death, a British film called Hell is Empty, released in 1967. Overall, her filmography was solid. She did face some criticism from film reviewers who felt she was famous more for her beauty than her talent. But these reviewers were largely in the minority, and she's still remembered for her short but incredible career, and many of her roles still inspire aspiring French actresses. Martine Carroll's Troubled Life Martine Carroll had a successful career, but this was juxtaposed from a tragic personal life marked by failed relationships and poor health. Her first marriage was with French actor André Luguet. This marriage ended in divorce in 1953 after only three years. A year later, she married film producer Mike Eland, but that marriage also ended in divorce in 1959. Her third marriage was to French director Christian Jacques. This was reputed to be a tumultuous marriage, and both were unfaithful to each other. They divorced in 1962. Oh, by the way, did we mention she was kidnapped? Owing to her pinup career and sex symbol status, she caught the eye of many men. Some were dangerous. One of her admirers was a French gangster who had the charming name of Crazy Pete. He had her kidnapped in the 1940s, and he beat her up. 
Apparently, she had rejected him when the two had met at a nightclub and he sought revenge. He originally sided with the Gestapo during the Second World War before joining the resistance and then killing Gestapo. Not the ideal person for Martine Carroll to meet. The psycho then sent flowers to her the next day as an apology. Luckily, she never heard from him after that event, but it haunted her for her life. Carol's personal life was further complicated by her struggles with mental and physical health issues. She suffered from depression and was hospitalized for a nervous breakdown in 1953. In addition, she underwent multiple surgeries throughout her career, including a hysterectomy and a nose job. Despite her fame, she had competition. She was soon compared to other French actresses who began their careers at the same time. She was compared to Brigitte Bardot and Simone Signoret, and often she was considered inferior to them. In her later years, Carol's health deteriorated further. She suffered from cirrhosis of the liver and was hospitalized several times in the years leading up to her death. On February 6, 1967, Carol died of a heart attack at age 46. Her death came as a shock to the industry, and no one knows how she became ill and whether she abused substances. Her story remains one of the tragic tales of French cinema. Martine's Legacy Martine Carroll remains an iconic figure in French cinema and is remembered today for her contributions to the film industry both in her native country and internationally. While she struggled to really break into American films, owing to her struggles speaking English, hardcore cinephiles know exactly who she was. Though she faced criticism for her acting abilities and was overshadowed by other French actresses of the time, she was a pioneer for women in the film industry. She was one of the first actresses in France to achieve international fame and helped pave the way for future generations of female actors. But her resilience and determination to continue working in the industry despite all these challenges have made her a role model for many. Today, Martine Carroll is remembered as a symbol of female empowerment and a trailblazer for women in the film industry. Her legacy lives on through her films and the influence she had on the industry, particularly in breaking down barriers for women in a male-dominated field. In addition to her contributions to film, Martine is also remembered for philanthropy. She was a supporter of the French Red Cross and donated to several other charitable causes throughout her life. Her legacy is one of talent, resilience, and determination, and a good bit of tragedy thrown in. She's remembered today as an icon and a trailblazer. If you haven't seen any of her films, now's the perfect time to get started. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that she was known as the French Marilyn Monroe? Do you think bombshell actresses who die tragic deaths are remembered more than they would be if they lived to be old? Let us know in the comments section below.